been a heartbreaking 24 hours in South Carolina. Flags at half staff across the state honoring an officer killed and six others shot in Florence County. Police officer Terrence Carraway served for over 30 years. He was killed. The suspect, 74-year-old Fred Hopkins, has been arrested. Tonight we have team coverage. Diane spoke to members of the law enforcement family about how they support one another through these tragedies. And Georgia Godfrey heard from Richland County deputies who are leading the investigation. But first, Kirsten Glavin live in Florence with the very latest from officials there. Kirsten. Yeah, hey, good evening. We are in the Vintage Place community where all of this violence broke out yesterday. If you look over here, you can see the caution tape is still off, blocking off part of Ashton Drive where this happened. You can see media is here in a staging area just showing how serious of a situation this has truly become. Now, we know the gunman has been taken into custody, but as far as being charged, that has not yet come down. The investigation into what happened here just beginning. We, as a city, have spent the last 24 hours only half believing the stark reality of what has occurred. Florence city leaders trying to make sense of what happened after one police officer was killed and six other law enforcement officers were injured in a brutal shootout Wednesday afternoon. In the grips of emotions ranging from, from pain to anger, and guilt. Florence police say their officer who was killed is Terrence Carraway, a first line supervisor who had just been honored for his 30 years of service to the Florence Police Department. We've been friends for 31 years. It is a tragic loss of life for me. The violence first unfolded when Florence County deputies were serving a warrant at a home in the Vintage Place neighborhood over accusations that a 27-year-old living there sexually assaulted a foster child. That's what they say a man identified as 74-year-old Fred Hopkins opened fire, prompting a two-and-a-half-hour standoff. Florence police called in for backup. We were there within a matter of moments after... We're learning Hopkins is a disbarred lawyer and Vietnam veteran who's been charged several times over the past few years. According to his Facebook page, Hopkins has also referred to himself as a competitive shooter. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster emotional after visiting the wounded in the hospital Thursday. When you see someone with a badge on, you ought to thank them because you never know what's going to happen. And two Florence police officers have been released from the hospital tonight. One is still there being treated. As for those deputies, the Richland County Sheriff's Office says they do not want to release that information on their conditions just yet. We're live in Florence tonight. I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. Kirsten, thank you. When something this terrible happens, of course, it hits every law officer statewide. It certainly does. Thank you, Kirsten. It's a very tight-knit community, Gordon. And